Miss Hendel. You might know me from biology or chemistry classes, elementary school volleyball, or YouTube videos that have gotten over a hundred hits. Life is dangerous, but your science class doesn't have to be. Come on, I'll show you the top 10 rules for science lab safety. If a lab calls for goggles, they must be worn during the entire period. Your teacher will most likely have a class set. Keep them organized. You may choose to purchase your own goggles. However, they must be standard ANSI Z87.7. These goggles are designed for complete coverage around the eyes. These goggles are also designed to go over the top of glasses. If you accidentally pour excess chemicals, do not pour them back into their stock containers, the containers that store the chemicals. They may contaminate the original and create a reaction. Chemicals need to be disposed of in a proper way. How to dispose of the chemicals will be instructed on the day of the lab. Usually, there will be a waste container. Sometimes, you'll have to move lab equipment around the room. Carry all lab equipment and chemicals with two hands. Be careful with the equipment and treat them with respect. Please. Do not touch anything unless your teacher gives you permission. There are things in the classroom that belong to other people and are set up for other classes. If you get chemicals into your eyes, you will need to wash them out for 15 minutes at the eye wash station or at a sink. Please be sure to rinse with your eyes open. Locate your classroom sink or eye wash station now. If you do get chemicals on your arms or skin, you will need to wash the burned area for 15 minutes. Don't worry about making a mess. Please saturate the area with water. Please locate your safety shower now. Never smell a chemical directly. Instead, waft or fan the chemical's fumes to note the odor. Try this at home. teacher know immediately if there's broken glass. The teacher will clean it up for you. This doesn't mean, however, that you get to go around breaking glass. Do your best to avoid such accidents. You know you wanna... If there's a fire, the fire extinguisher should be used first. Can you locate it? Walk, don't run. Remove the safety clip. Point the nozzle at the fire and squeeze the handle. Please empty the extinguisher. Whoa! So, what is a 
fire anyways. The answer lies in the fire triangle. Three things must be present at the same time in order to produce a fire. Enough oxygen, enough heat, and some sort of fuel. If you take any of these three things away, you will no longer have a fire and the fire will be extinguished. Essentially, fire extinguishers put out fire by taking away one or more elements of the fire triangle. Do not eat anything in the lab. There are some chemicals that we will handle in this class that can cause great injury and even death. Even if there is an edible food in a lab, like a candy, it may have been stored next to something in the science storeroom that could be harmful. The only time you may eat something is if I tell you it's alright to do so. Hand washing should be the last step of every lab. Frequent hand washing is one of the best ways to avoid getting sick and spreading illness. Wet your hands with running water, apply liquid soap, and lather well. Rub your hands vigorously for at least 20 seconds, and remember to scrub all surfaces. Rinse and dry. Hi. As you can see, the world can be a dangerous place, but we can eliminate some of these risks by following the top 10 rules of safety. Enjoy your year and see you in the lab.